Hello everyone! Uh, hope to see some new people here at this video. I was the one that made this meme. I was bored one evening, but I, don't know, I was like, eh. You know what's funny? Making fun of Republicans. You see, in the Republican Party's path of hate, after they've eliminated the right to abortion, they're going to move on to gay marriage and, you know, trans people. And you're gonna see, it's, it's a, you know, very obvious trend we've seen before in, you know, like Nazi Germany and places like that. And one of the cartoons that's arisen out of this path of hate is this. An airplane with two wings on one side to represent how homosexual marriage just won't fly because it doesn't work as a plane. Wah, 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 wah. So yeah, essentially boiling down a complicated social issue into just one cartoon saying like, oh, it won't work because it doesn't work in this cartoon is what I thought to be an insanely ridiculous way of demonstrating why you hate gay people. So I thought it'd be funny to show that, hey, it works both ways. So I turned it on its head and made it about heterosexual marriage. In homosexual marriage, both the wheels on a bicycle are the same, and so the bicycle rolls. In heterosexual, one of the bicycles is a square. It is different, and so therefore the marriage does not roll. Now obviously, this is not how it works in the real world, but my point is to illustrate that these comparisons can go either way, which makes them absolutely ineffective of proving your point. Heterosexual and homosexual relationships can both work. So I casually posted on Twitter and I looked back and it was actually the fastest post that day to get 100,000 likes which is pretty incredible. So I want to say if there's anyone here from that meme that has come to see this video, uh, hi, I hope you stick around. I do comedy videos on this channel. I sometimes do game show stuff. I do a lot of fun stuff. You can go check around. But yeah, it was just, it's a pretty fun experience. I'm not like, oh, I'm going to be famous. I know that this is a transient thing that will probably pass by the time this video is up, but still it's, you know, neat. What else I thought was neat was the controversy that was around this, which we'll read into now. Some people tried to argue that I was being sexist because I was comparing women to being a square. I don't know. I don't know where they got the comparison that I was actually comparing women to a square. The term homosexual marriage can apply to both lesbians and... Is there a term for just boy... gay? Boybians? In fact, in art, you know, circles are generally given to females, and more rigid angles are given to male figures. So the deduction that I am calling women squares and, and saying that they're inoperable in a marriage is just absurd. I purposefully didn't label them as male or female because the, the thing was not intended to be sexist. It was intended to apply both ways. Do you know, typical boomer humor of just like, oh, I hate my wife. They get a divorce! Something I also thought was pretty interesting is that the design has actually been ripped off and put on several different shirts. Do not buy these shirts. I am not affiliated with any of them. And in fact, many of these websites are outright fraudulent, like the shirt on ET, which was amazingly reduced from $24.99 to $22.99. So, you know, if it's worth it, you might as well rush out and get it now. That also has a fake counter on it. And I know that it's a fake counter because they labeled it as a fake counter in the HTML. What? Now, if you don't know this, if you make a viral tweet on Twitter, a lot of companies will reach out to you asking you to peddle their shitty products that will immediately burn your house down the second you plug it in. And I got a few messages like that. Hey, would you do a promotion under your viral tweet for $25? I didn't agree to this. I didn't say yes or no or anything. I just said PayPal email is drakedragsaw at gmail.com. They sent $25 without asking me if I wanted to do it. So I blocked them. I didn't end up doing any promotions because I find promotions of products that I really don't care for to be extraordinarily unethical. To sort of push a product that I'm not even sure is safe for people to use to just put it out there and just not have any accountability for it. I think that's deplorable. And I think them sending me money before I even agreed to do an endorsement for them at all doesn't put any obligation on me to promote a product that I know nothing about. People were mad that I took the money and didn't do the promotion, as if the promotion were the more ethical thing to do. I don't know why most of the comments are celebratory of this, but that's not very ethical or cool of you to do. That's not cool, actually. Isn't that just straight up theft? By responding with a PayPal link, it can be reasonably assumed that that was an affirmative response to a proposed contract. The total dollar amount would most likely get a contract like this voided anyways, Still theft, though. Bro, you're literally scamming. What the F? You are garbage. 
What a douche. Hope they file a complaint and get their money back. Scum. Bro, who cares if it's technically not illegal? That's still a dick thing to do. Wow, that's fucked up. Not sure why you're outing yourself as a scammer, but good to know. This is actually an awful thing to do. The fact you're bragging about stealing money makes it even worse. What the F? Typical faggot. May your bones be separated from your flesh and may you go homeless and never be able to get back on your feet. This is evil! Esto solo es un robo boludo porque la gente lo celebra. A pesar robo a otro es por sprinter gabando. Porque que este gajo scamo o mano a toque now le fez nada de agora te se agabar no Twitter como se te vese sido ganda boss move. Ganda boss move. These people are so ignorant of their own hypocrisies that it's fucking ridiculous. You are transphobic and sexist. Yeah? What of it? What are you gonna do about it? Bitch, fuck you, shut the fuck up. Oh, but some of the quote retweets I got on this were actually fucking premium. This actually reveals a lot about how they conceive of humanity. Things that may be straight up murderous. Now there we go, he's unveiled the secret plan. I guess it's out there. Yes, I am promoting gay people because I want the extinction of the entire human race. That's what all gay people want. That's the end goal of it. It's not for equality or love or anything. It's for the extinction of the entire human race. Since the analogy is bad, it reveals how universalism can fall flat. It's amazing how you literally restated the point of me making the meme to demonstrate that these analogies are very oversimplifying. They do nothing to elucidate or simplify it. It just frankly complicates these social issues. Marriage is nothing like an airplane. It's marriage. Actually, faggots are fucking disgusting. And there's an extremely graphic image of this trans Wojak being hanged by some other cartoon character. Yeah, that's normal human behavior that sane people post. Again, a lot of these people that disagree with me seem to be very well adjusted. I mean, these are the kinds of guys you can see like, you know, donating cans of soup and, you know, coaching the soccer team for the kids. Like, these seem like really positive individuals. He's has a YouTube channel, and it's just as trash. Well, I'm really sorry to disappoint you on that. I am working on making this the worst YouTube channel on the entire website, so... I'm sorry that it's not as bad as you'd want it to be. I, I am working hard towards that goal. There's also this weird obsession that people seem to have that your only existence should be to reproduce. Like there's some clinical alien observing the human race. Yeah, there's no nuance to anything else. If you can't reproduce, then your life is fucking worthless. Two men still can't make a baby. Wow, now that is a fucking bullet to the entirety of homosexual marriage. Imagine, no one could see that as a perk at all because kids are wanted by universally everyone. Every marriage ought to have a kid because everyone in the world is suited to raise kids. That's so unappealing, not having a kid. God, ugh. For this to make a modicum of sense, you'd have to have both the wheels on the same end of the bicycle. Why are you trying to scientifically deconstruct my meme? Is it, oh, actually, no, it'd be like this. They have to be on both the same side. No, homo means same. They are the same wheel. Hetero means different. They are different. That is the analogy. And it's meant to satirize. Why these memes and cartoons are stupid. People who shit on others for their sexuality just for a cheap laugh. I can guarantee you that there are zero people that walked away from seeing this meme thinking that I genuinely believe that heterosexual marriage is invalid. Also, you fixed it? No, you didn't. The analogy doesn't work. What does this have to do with the wheels or the bicycle? I also saw this other variant of it where someone took the concept and made it into a car instead of a bicycle. And I, I'm not upset that they took the format because it's a good format for a meme, but it just doesn't work as a car. Cars have four wheels. Marriages generally have two people, which is why I use two wheels on the bike and why the original comic artist used two wings on an airplane. And also, I deliberately didn't label the sex of each wheel because, well, you know, it looks sexist if you do. Now, I'm not upset or offended that they labeled it. I know that the sexism is ironic. But I left it out because I think it's funnier if it just wasn't there at all. As a straight sissy male, yes, that person is less of a human being. Oh, please like me. Please, I'll say that I hate straight people all you want. Just please like me, gay people. And the final part that I want to talk about is this shitty video made by a shitty content creator. Content creator? More of a content aggregator, I'd say, but... Hero Hey made a video about it. That was 
embarrassing. Thank you Alejandro for the tag, says Twitter's mindset at their finest. Well, let's take a look. It all started with this meme that was posted on July 28th, collecting over 410,000 likes. And in response to that meme, someone else would post this meme, reading on top, Hearing about a violent double homicide in my area. Shocked. And then the excited and happy reaction image when they find out that the Victims were actually a straight couple. Someone else would even respond saying, Change straight couple for white couple. Even better, straight white couple. Even, even better, straight white American couple. Ah yes, very tolerant and accepting stuff, Twitter. Great job, very helpful. That's all I got here. If you enjoy these short entertaining segments, please consider liking and subscribing for more. I'll see you in the comments and in the next one. Gracias por llamar a las oficinas de Jacoby Myers. Apreciamos la oportunidad de asistirle. Es nuestro objetivo proporcionarle los servicios legales de más alta calidad en el momento oportuno. Un miembro de nuestro equipo estará con usted en un momento. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Hello, this is uh, Jacob E. and Myers Law Offices. I see that you do cases with false and misleading advertising. Um, I was wondering if you could give me some help with this uh, misleading, sort of false to um, ending to a YouTube video, which included uh, a meme that I had created in which he refers to his content as entertaining segments. Now, not only were these segments not even segments to begin with, because it was just one video, they were also not very entertaining. I was wondering if we had a case here, and so yeah, please get back to me at this number. Uh, post haste, please. It's quite important. What I think is funniest about this video at all is that I am 100% certain that you would not make this video if it were the other way around. The expectation that straight people have is that gay people need to be universally tolerant of all people, no matter what comes toward them. If straight people call them faggots and say that they should be killed and that their concept of marriage and inequality is invalid and just a pipe dream, then that's fine. Like, that's not video worthy. But if someone makes a meme saying the opposite, saying like, oh, straight people deserve to be killed, in a clearly ironic fashion. And I can't tell you how fucking sick I am of this double standard. Jokes can be made at anyone's expense, not just gay people's. And what's funniest of all is that most of his videos are about him complaining about people being too sensitive to jokes. When someone else makes an edgy joke at the expense of him, all of a sudden it's a big fucking deal. Oh, you're not tolerant at all, left. Get wrecked. It's so fucking frustrating. And the fact that someone like called in to like say that, hey, can I have your opinion on this? He barely offered any like comments at it all. He kind of just repeated the thread itself, which really just is fucking baffling to me. Like, is this a real channel or is this some fucking MK Ultra mind control shit? There is no way that that is a human being that really asked for your opinion to make a 50 second long video saying two sentences of commentary. I've seen ISIS beheading videos with more commentary than these fucking things. But yeah, that's just uh, my commentary on my own meme and I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. And I hope that people that came to this video from my meme will stick around and check out my other content. I've got more stuff coming soon and... Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.